to Cantarte Comandante Chairman Trudeau. There's a, a famous uh, CD, music CD of uh, Cuban music called to, Com to Cantarte Comandante, to, to sing to our Comandante, that despicable despot of uh, Fidel Castro that too many people still admire. And I don't know if Justin Trudeau still admires Fidel Castro, uh, but given the way he is handling the the truckers uh, who are protesting the vaccine mandates in Canada, you would think, you would think that the rumors were true about Justin Trudeau being Fidel Castro's son, which they're not, by the way, they're not. Uh, just a, a slight cursory uh, research on the subject uh, should dispel it. It doesn't take, you don't have to dig that deep to, to realize that Justin Trudeau was not Fidel Castro's son. But when you see pictures like this uh, with Justin Trudeau's mother uh, fawning over Fidel Castro, the way that she's holding him and stuff like that, yeah, I mean, it, it, you could see where those malicious, malicious innuendos, uh, how they could arise. And and that's the thing about this whole uh, problem right now with the Canadian truckers uh, protesting the vaccine mandates that Justin Trudeau, Justin Trudeau could easily stop by removing the mandates, but he doesn't want to. He wants to keep his foot down. Uh, there was a quote of him saying that uh, you know if we take down the mandates, that just means more restrictions, and that's the way these ruling elites think. And, and I think that's one of the things that this trucker protest is really revealing. It's not so much the great divide between liberals and conservatives or individualism versus the collectives. Um, it's more like the ruling elites versus the working class and the ruling elites along with their media accomplices. Uh, the amount of media outlets out there calling this the supposed freedom convoy, uh, which is just utterly disgusting. Uh, this And this is what happens. I know I'm not the only one bringing this up, but it bears worth repeating as often as possible. This is what happens when the actual working class, uh, for a real working class issue, uh, when they rise up. This is how they are met by, um, by the ruling elites and by the media, by the media who, and especially truckers who I would imagine that may not be unionized. Truckers who are probably independent. I don't know all the truckers that are um, uh, protesting this, but I, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb without doing too much research, just shooting my mouth off here. I'm willing to bet that they're probably not unionized, that they're probably independent, and this is probably why it's a problem uh, with them. And another reason why I alluded to Comandante, but Chairman uh, Trudeau is because Justin, Justin Trudeau, wow, his, his name's a little bit of a tongue twister for me. Justin Trudeau has praised Xi Jinping. Um, he has uh, said that he gets things done. Basically, uh, and I know that's the problem with foreign policy. Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. And at times you have to deal with some of these murderous dictators. Now, you don't have to fawn over them. You know, you don't have to, um, you don't have to play so much footsie with these people. I would think, I would hope, I don't know. I'm just another rube on YouTube. I'm just another literally working class person, um, expounding on issues of which I am not a an expert in, however, issues that ultimately affect my life, that affect the cost of my living, which is why I have every single right to shoot my mouth off on this, whether people like it or not. With all that said, I don't want to make this video too long, uh, but I definitely wanted to put this out there in support of the truckers, and especially considering quite a few relatives of mine that are truckers that are not involved in that. But yeah, having relatives and friends that are truckers and who are definitely supporting this. Um, yes, I, I think the ruling elites, if by any chance any of those ruling elites come across this video, this uh, shamelessly provocative video, uh, at least with the title and with the little picture that I put up there, um, get, get, start listening to the people. 
please. The people that you're purportedly representing, when they're sending you such a strong message, maybe it's best to listen to what they have to say and not feel like you've got to put your foot down, not feel like you've got to show authority. Not on this. And it's amazing how uh, how many people have let the riots of 2020 over a false narrative, a demonstrably false narrative about uh, unarmed black men being targeted for execution by police, however it's been worded, by groups like Black Lives Matter that have millions of dollars missing in funds, um, whose leaders are self-proclaimed Marxists, though one of them has already been found to have purchased multiple luxury homes. And somehow that, well, you know, you know what, the people are speaking. While businesses were destroyed, lives were lost, people were killed, black Americans killed over that. More black, uh, not more black Americans, but I, I believe more people were killed as a direct result of the riots during 2020, of the hundreds of riots throughout dozens of cities, at least just in the United States, more people died from those riots than the number of unarmed black Americans were killed by police the year before. And many people, including Justin Trudeau, fully supported those protests. No problem there. Would have caved in. And actually, that's why we have defund the police. That's why you even have uh, uh, things like abolish the police. That was somehow, for whatever reason, those mostly peaceful but highly destructive riots, that was condoned. Actual working class people um, choosing to make a stand like this and only blocking a very certain small portion, which granted, it's, it's, it's a highway that affects commerce and will probably affect the cost of goods that I'm going to probably have to pay for, but... Uh, this is a stance that uh, I think is worth taking. Not so much being anti-vaccine, because I'm pro-vaccine, but I'm anti-mandate. And I'm anti-ruling elites thinking they can tell us what to do. And especially the kind of ruling elites that have praised murderous dictators like Fidel Castro and even people like Justin uh, Xi Jinping. That's my two cents worth on this issue. Hope you found it informative possibly even insightful. And if you like my videos, please give this a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out the links down below for any of my art that I have for sale. And thanks for watching.